Okay. So we got a pattern here, and I cut the slab to match, and I put it on like this, and I hang it over the end a little bit, and then I squish it down, and and this is a it's a flexible rib that smooths it down to that form. mark underneath which I can feel. It's a little notch and then I make an angle cut. And I'm just going to dry this a little bit. This rim is just like it was right off the press, so I just always have to be careful that this gets a little attention. Sometimes you can get cracks across the rim because this is the last place that closes up on the on the press. So I'm reestablishing the curve on that corner. And this one I'm gonna I'll put the spirals and the triple ribs at the top. So I use my thumbnail, I have to sort of Just have a starting line for this triple rib tool. It's like it's fairly stiff, so it's but I have to use this hand and support it from behind because I'm pushing out with the rib. Sort of pay attention. It's pretty easy to push it out. If I push it out too far, it can end up being oversized. So I check the dimension, and it's, it's actually undersized. And this bowl, if I just push it straight out, it's going to reduce the depth of the bowl. What I'm going to do is be a little careful here because there's nothing holding the bowl down. It's just sitting on the bat. So I'm going to use a sponge inside and out. If I put too much pressure, it'll spin on its foot. So I'm gently pushing out, but I'm trying to do it carefully. This ball could have been put on a, on a 
foam plug and I could have deepened it. Okay, this we made on the half dowel. It's a little bit stiff. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place it on this piece of styrofoam which has uh, been shaped. And what that does is that curves it. It curves it to match the curve of the sink. And ordinarily I'd be making several dozen of these. I'd curve a whole bunch of them and, and that's the reason I've got a long piece here. Uh, and then I put them under fan, let them dry and stiffen up a little. Okay, so we've shaped this so it sort of sort of fits the side here, you see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of fine tune this. And so I just sort of place it where I think I want it. And this has to be opposite the hole. This is going to make a tunnel. We're going to put a hole down here and we're going to put a hole up here. So the water goes into this donut and actually goes from inside through this hole, through the tunnel, and into the drain. So this is the same way that a commercial sink is done. And I'm going to use this needle tool and I'm going to just draw some lines here. And the lines simply indicate where this edge is going to end up. And this is more or less centered on that. Um, the centering is off a little bit, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this out some. So basically I'm just cutting this away so this thing can breathe a little bit. And then I wet that and I just sort of smooth that. This is probably the most common potter's tool and I buy these at a university bookstore. They're used for dissecting frogs. Uh, they cost just, you know, pennies a piece. So I can, can actually cut out a little more. And I can sort of feel where the where the underside of that tile is. And then this hole goes straight through here, so this is open right through here. And then I'll take my little tool here, and this tool was designed so that it's the right width for this joint. And so I just scratch that up like so. And then this could go out you know, a little more there. And then I'll scratch across here. So all this scratching is standard sort of potter stuff. So I'm just scratching this so good. Got some water in here and so I can take that and and the trick is if you can hold it you can run water and don't run down your elbow. Put enough water so you can muddy it up a little bit. So if you get this right your form is stiff enough that you can hold it without deforming it. But adding the water and scratching the edge, you can muddy the edge up because we're going to press the two together. So I'll set that down and then add some water in here. 
all this is sort of tedious. But, you know, you got to do this carefully if you want to be sure that it doesn't crack on you. So then where I put the water, I muddy that up good. Work the water into the clay. And this is a porcelain. It's very fine grained. Generally porcelain has a tendency to crack more than stoneware because it has less aggregate and it doesn't have any coarse particles in it. The coarse particles. And before I put it on, I just want to be sure this is spread a little bit. Because if it's spread, if it's too closed, I can't get in there to get it out. The last thing I want to do is I'm going to poke a hole here so I can reference from the inside where where this is.